Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel and to my weekly, um, my dear friend Nokotan review. I'm gonna be talking about the third episode today. Um, before I start going into details with my notes, I'd say this one was like, alright. I think I liked it better than the second episode, but the first episode was my favorite. Because the thing is with this one is like, they introduce another new character, I guess like the final girl for Dear Club, I'm assuming, based on like how many people are in the intro. Um, but this is one where it's like the first 10 minutes were like a whole gag and then the other half of the episode, I keep forgetting these are only like uh, 20 minutes, um, was about introducing this new character and kind of getting the club together more as like a club. I really actually liked the first 10 minutes of the episode, so it also doesn't help that we finally get to see this um, Torgo with the 3D deer dancing scene that everyone kept making memes out of um, from the trailer. And it was cool to see it. It was like funnier and less funnier than I thought it would be in context. That was easily my favorite part. So, like, I know with the last, the thumbnail for the last episode, I had Anko, um, Torgo's younger sister, as a thumbnail instead of like Nokotan in that like JoJo pose because I thought, okay, you know, it's focused on this new character and stuff and you know that'll help me remember later of like okay that's what that episode was about so I might even rank all these when you know the show's over but this one it's like that was kind of the highlight of the dancing and we don't really get to see the new character that's introduced even that much besides her being in like the second half of the episode she's only there the focus is kind of only on her for like a little bit so I thought okay she's not despite the title um which I think was like Bashime um in roles it's not really like about her it's kind of more about like the club and the deer themselves a little bit i don't know um because it starts off with uh Torco being surprised to see one of those 3d deer at the deer club like it's just chilling there because there's this whole gag basically where she thinks that the deer is actually nokotan like in disguise they even show it kind of like as if it was a mech suit like the deer's face opens and nokotan's just in there and it's just her antlers that are sticking out so the first like 10 minutes of this is a gag of like toriko um trying to get nokotan to come out of what she refers to as like that form of like she thinks she's just wearing a deer hide over herself or something and is trying to get her to go back to her quote-unquote usual form of like you know what she normally looks like and then the whole thing with it is that Nokotan hasn't even actually shown up to club yet and she shows up at like the end of the gag and then Toriko realizes like oh shit I've embarrassed myself for like no actual reason but I think it is kind of cute that she like tries like it kind of escalates uh, she tries all these increasingly embarrassing things to try and get nokotan to come out of the deer and this this 3d deer it's just vibing it's just watching her do all this stuff and that's like so they're like one of my favorite things with this um anime so far and Toriko's like so surprised to even see it there at the first place and i'm thinking like bruh this is literally a club called deer club of course there would be a deer there besides your like deer human hybrid friend and it's only at that point that she even realized about and like remembered all the deer the 3d deer have like been there the whole time because it even shows flashbacks to previous episodes which there's only you know been two of them of like the deer i think it's funny that the deer are not only just everywhere but they just like hang out in the background and don't really get involved in the plot they're always just watching at first i thought maybe they were like attracted to nokotan in a way like they were watching her and stuff but no i i noticed in these flashbacks they're only really ever watching toriko like when she f went like the opening scene or whatever in the first episode and she's like walking to school before she even meets nokotan and the 3d deer are already there just staring at her but that's like funny i guess maybe it's because she eventually becomes you know like club president at this point and her job is like the caretaker she's the caretaker of the deer so maybe that's why even back then all these deer are like following her around and stuff like yeah she's the deer caretaker but it just shows up because it wants deer crackers okay i'm gonna go back into this there's like a couple close-up shots of the face of the deer and like i'm used to those it's fine but it's like the very first one in this episode felt like 
kind of creepy to me. <laughs> I don't know, it looks creepy because the deer gets like more and more detailed as we see like a close-up shot of it. And it's already like a fully 3D soulless looking model. So that just makes it like kind of worse. And then um, I felt kind of bad that Torgo kind of like harasses the deer a bit. Like she, like the first thing she does is she tries to pull its skin off thinking that it's just Nokotan like, you know, wearing a deer skin or something. Um, and she's like sh so sure that it's Nokotan and the deer just fucking kicks her with its back legs. But other than doing that, it like kind of vibes. It just stares at her. I, I really want to know what its thought process is, especially when it gets to the dancing scene of like, what the hell is this human doing, you know? Um, oh, and there's a part where there's like this pink boba drink and I personally, you know, boba like those little balls and stuff. I've never really cared for them. There used to be a boba place up the street from my house and I just think they're like eh, you know but like because it's an anime and anime food always looks really good they, they made it actually look good like Toroko describes it as like oh yeah it's a spring drink it's like pink I'm assuming maybe it's like some kind of strawberry flavor or whatever um, but I thought okay that actually looks kind of good I think I just prefer like a regular regular, <laughs> regular drink over boba Though that did remind me, side note, I'm going to be making a strawberry pie. Um, my brother's coming down to visit, so you'll see less of my, like, recordings for a while, except for the pre-recorded stuff. Just letting you know. Um, but I'm going to be making strawberry pie. I'm really excited. <laughs> First time I'm doing that. Okay. Another thing, too, Toriko, she goes from, like, she's trying to get Nokotan to come out the deer, but she also sees the deer eating plants and stuff, and that's kind of the real reason she wants Nokotan to come out, because, um, I thought it was cute that Toriko, uh, names and cares for all of the club plants. Like, I know some people that are like that, like, one of my, uh, older cousins really likes plants, and she names all of them and stuff. I- I'm not really, like- a plant person or anything. I'm just not really good with plants and I don't really care about them that much. I like some flowers though. Um, plumerias were always my favorite, but I always think that's cute of like people naming plants and stuff and becoming so like emotionally attached to them. And I like all these little details, especially the first like 10 minutes of this episode of like, yeah, Torko, um, you know, I think she's interesting because she's like this club president and she has this stress of in like student council president or whatever of like trying to seem perfect around everyone that's probably exhausting and then she becomes friends with Nokutan and even around once they get other club members she's basically just herself and they get to see her being like frustrated at them sometimes and whatever and they don't care they know that's like how she really is and they kind of enjoy that I think more than like her pretending to be the student council perfect person and it's probably more relaxing for her too like she gets to be herself but anyway I love these moments where she gets like frustrated when she's in the club and whatever because she she's honestly just like she's like the show's butt monkey basically that everything everyone the world is kind of against her I almost feel kind of bad for her and it doesn't even have anything to do with her being like a delinquent or her being like perfect all the time or whatever and she's not like we hear her thoughts and stuff and whatever but she's really just like a huge dork and we see that a lot when she's like in the club room or we hear her thoughts or whatever and I think that's really cool I think that's kind of what makes her an interesting character she has like all these different sides to her but anyway um yeah she names the plants that's cute she loves decorating the clubhouse and she has the goal of wanting to make it more cute and she takes like so much pride in being in charge of this club when they get new members and stuff it's sweet oh yeah there's always that joke about like Nokotan um being scared of plastic water bottles for some reason and at first I assumed that was like I don't know some kind of like deer thing or whatever but then Toriko surrounds the 3d deer with the bottles and they and the deer just like kicks them away and I'm like is Nokotan just kind of irrationally scared of the bottles because it's literally just plastic water bottles that are formed around her in like a circle that are filled with water so I'm like what's the big deal this doesn't seem to be a deer thing um 
But yeah, I like how the attempts to get Nogotan to come out are like getting, they get kind of more and more personal. Like it starts off with the Bobo drinks, Bobo, Boba drinks, and then uh, Toriko shows her this book she has of like poems and secrets. And then we get to the best part where she's like, okay, I'll sing you an original song that I wrote to get you to come out. And it's funny because Nogotan has already like shown up at that point and she's even like, yay, I want to hear your song. And But Toriko has her back to her so she can't see her and she thinks it's like and she has her eyes closed the whole time too um so she thinks that the deer the 3d deer is talking to her and then we get the dance scene and that's where most of my notes are from it's funny because like she starts like singing and then she does this bit where she does a dance and oh my it like finally clicked to me it didn't click when i was watching the trailer but it clicked when i watched the episode i was like wait the movements are kind of familiar. It's the freaking, <laughs> it's the Bully Maguire dance from the like early 2000s Spider-Man movies. At, at first I wasn't sure, but there was this one part where she like put her head, her arms above her head and kind of wiggled around or whatever. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what the dance is. I mean, I know this is an anime that's like a comedy and it references like pop culture and other things. I mean, the freaking intro has the like Dark Souls bit too um which i like how that's so iconic i've never played dark souls i don't i don't think i'd be able to handle it um but like even i recognize like that death screen of like the screen turns gray and it's like you died or whatever but then in this anime it just says you dear which i was that always gets a chuckle out of me i never skip the intro with this show um but the dancing being even if it wasn't a reference to that scene would still be funny but the fact that i watched it and i'm like wait i know where this dance is from just just made it funnier honestly but the song is funny for like the whole scene is just like great to me because with the trailer you know you don't hear if what the music would be in the scenes it's just like the music used for the trailer and you see the part where toriko's dancing so i just assumed there would be like I don't know, I thought it would be like very bright and cheery music or whatever that would be playing, you know, something that would fit. But then you get to the scene and it's just Toriko singing, there's like no background music at all, it's like just her singing. And it's funny because you think her singing would be amazing, I get it's like an acting thing, because she's voiced by Hatsune Miku and you think like, oh yeah, she'd probably sound great, but the VA, because the thing is the singing kind of reminds me, like the way she sings and stuff and the fact that there's no music reminds me of like, I don't know, when you're like a little kid or a teenager and you sing alone, like you're home alone and you just sing alone in your room and you probably sound bad and you're not trying to like stay on tune or anything, you're just kind of doing it for fun and having like a good time and whatever. And I feel like that's how she is like voice acted singing for this part. Um, not that she sounds bad or anything, she sounds like eh, but it's so funny that it like instantly reminded me of that, of like that's kind of the vibe they were going for. Or just she sounds like a normal girl that's just singing aloud and having a good time and whatever. I get why there's no music though, because it's just her like original song. There's no like radio or anything for music in there. She's just singing it in the background. I couldn't tell what it was in the trailer. And then I realized as I was watching the episode that it's supposed to be like glow sticks as if it was a concert in the background. And you know because it's all kind of like in her head a little bit so it's not actually happening i'm imagining she's just in the club room singing this um and i love the detail of like she has her little booklet for her secrets and songs and whatever and poems and she rolls it up and she uses it that's what that tube thing is by the way um and she uses it as like a little microphone <laughs> and her whole song is super like cheesy it's about her being a former delinquent and about her being this kind of like hero role or whatever um and it's like a hype song for herself it's so that's so cute to me and it's just the whole thing is like so cheesy but really funny and there's also these shots of like the deer staring at her and you can see like the glow sticks and stuff reflected in its eyes and the deer never makes really like any expression none of them ever do but it's just so funny in this context because she's not just like singing the song she's singing it at the deer sometimes she even points to it because she thinks that no in there um 
and the deer just kind of stares at her like what the fuck is happening <laughs> you know um but that whole song was great and then we find out that the deer is just an escaped deer from the zoo like nokotan reveals herself because she keeps talking when the song's over and she's like oh i want to hear more of your song and torko is like super embarrassed realizing i don't really get why um because she was singing the song as if she was like singing it to nokotan anyway because she thought nokotan was the 3d deer and then realizing i guess realizing that like nokotan kind of walked she didn't even walk in she was just behind her the whole time listening but like this is the person you intended the song to so i don't really get why it would be kind of embarrassing but i also sort of get it um i guess because torgo probably realizes like oh I didn't need to do all of that, and I was just singing to, like, a literal deer from the zoo. But yeah, it's an escaped deer from the zoo, it's not even, like, a character or anything, and it was attracted to the clubhouse because of the deer crackers. Like, when the episode starts, it's already eating the deer crackers, and of course Nokotan can talk to it, and then I guess she, like, convinces the deer to leave or something because, like, it goes back to the zoo and that's it, and that's, like, the whole gag. It's exactly, like, ten minutes. Um, but I enjoyed it. It was actually my favorite part of the episode. I didn't even care that it took up half the episode. And then we get introduced to a new character in the club. Kind of gets more um, chaotic. But I really love these like very silly bits in this anime. It's fun. Um, because then we find out that like some time has passed. Nokotan and Toriko are like third years now. And Toriko gives this... Um, uh, like, a speech to all the, like, freshmen coming in, the first years, I mean. Um, and that's when we meet this new character, her name's Bashme. Um, she's this, like, sleepy-looking, kind of green-haired girl. Her hair is, like, a bit messy. She has this, like, kind of cute brown little coat. I always realize with these types of characters in animes, they always, like, the kind of sleepy, silly ones you're not supposed to take seriously, they always dress kind of, like, very comfy, but she's a character that basically can pass out anywhere, and her thing is, like, instead of referring to herself with, like, the term of I or whatever, she just refers to herself, like, by name, um, which I always find kind of funny, and she gives this little speech of like, oh, looking up to someone, and of course Torgo thinks it's herself, but it's really that Bashime um, looks up to Nokotan and wants to be a deer, so she even gets referred to as like a deer in training. Oh yeah, there's also this small part um, where Nokotan and um, Toriko are walking and there's these butterflies that are like kind of attracted to Nokotan and it's kind of like more of a background thing where she there's like butterflies that are around her and then as she's talking to other characters or whatever more and more butterflies show up and she just like doesn't really care or notice them um and anyway we find out the reason that Bashime uh looks up to Nokotan so much is because she gave her deer crackers and they set it up in like this cutesy way almost in like a romantic way of like almost like a meet cute not that they bump into each other or anything in that sense but like it's kind of set up as like a little romantic meeting and there's this part where um Bashman is like oh what's your name you get you saved my life by giving me these crackers like giving me something to eat and Nogotan turns around and the shot of her like that like there's even like cherry blossom petals and this kind of like soft filter that's there and she looks first off she looks so pretty the way she's drawn in that shot I couldn't believe it um I just love when there's like different especially in these comedy animes where there's like different art styles and kind of forms for these characters like Nokotan there's her like normally and there's shots like this where she's made to look like really pretty and there's other ones where she has like the Jojo face and then ones where she kind of becomes like a sort of chibi form like when she gets brushed with the brush and then when she gets scared she kind of has this like sort of ghost shape except it's just her little face and her antlers that are on it like the least amount of detail possible and I love all of those but anyway it's funny because they set it up in a cute way and she looks like so pretty and then she responds in like this very masculine not super deep like in the Jojo thing but like kind of where it sounds more masculine than feminine where she's like oh thanks ma'am but you don't need to know my name and I thought that was kind of cool um, but yeah, this is an episode that brings everyone together because Bashime, uh, she joins the deer club to become a deer like Nokotan, which is kind of funny because 
you know, um, Toriko's like resident caretaker, and she is now responsible for these two girls because they're technically dear but not dear and then her younger sister Anko who I actually completely had forgotten about also joins the club because her her and Bashmay are both first years they go to the school and they both join dear club so now dear club has four people but it's kind of sad I feel a little bad for Toriko because she's like the only one that takes it seriously and everyone else is just like chillin', basically. Like, Anko's too obsessed with her to care, and Bashme and Nakotan just kind of, like, hang out and eat deer crackers. Um, but it was kind of funny when Anko shows up, and there's this- it, it's Bashme and Toriko together in this kind of romantic pose. Like, Toriko was kind of giving bottom energy a little bit, like, being all blushy, where, um, Bashme's just like, oh, please take care of me, or whatever. And there's this, like, kind of- pink romantic filter with sparkles it was so silly i did think about painting it i don't know um i have a habit of painting like romantic moments between women i don't know why it's like a thing i do now um wait hold on Oh yeah, and then there's- it kind of ends with like, the deer, quote unquote deer, wanting to be treated better, so it just has Bashman Nokotan in this like, chibi form, being like, kind of brushed on the head by Toriko, and they're posed and everything, they, they're like, shaped like a potato at that point when they're like, chibis. The pose though, when they're like, kind of laying on their stomachs, reminds me of like, the freaking pillow pet craze from the 2000s, where it was like, they're like, little plushies with the like, like the four limbs and then you open them up and they're like a pillow and their arms are spread out as if they're on their stomach and those were always kind of goofy to me like they're usually animals and then it got more and more cursed when they would turn them into like characters but it was like characters that weren't supposed to be in that shape and it would look super weird i think there's ones for like cars like the movie cars and i'm like okay i can kind of see that because they have wheels but like for other other popular characters it was like really weird. I, I liked the lady, but I never had them, but I always thought the ladybug was cute. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Yeah, that's my thoughts on the whole episode. I know it was like the same length as the episode. I don't really give a shit. Um, so yeah, next episode we'll have, um, that'll be the fourth one, and we have all the Deer Club members already, based on at least what I think with the intro. So I don't know what's gonna happen next. I guess more shenanigans in Deer Club. I'll see you then. Bye bye!